woke up this morning with a very recognizable, very severe pain. We're headed to the emergency room. Oh, you gotta breathe. Well, good morning. A little bit unexpected. I went to bed last night with kind of an ache in my back. And I woke up this morning with a very recognizable, very severe pain called pleurisy. Um, I was talking with my doctor and he said, with what you're describing, it would probably be best to get an x-ray just to make sure it's not a partial collapse or something. Um, when I was propped up in bed, breathing real shallow, with the heating pack on my back, it was manageable. I got up to go to the bathroom and realized if I sit up straight, I can barely breathe in. So it's a little positional. And we're headed to the emergency room to get an x-ray because it's Sunday. So emergency room it is. All right, let's do it. We definitely made the right choice to go because after we got in the car, I started coughing, which made the pain so bad, so bad that I'm just confirming that we're doing the right thing to go in. I need to start my vancomycin in five minutes. <clears throat> that was just a side note. Um, man, this reminds me, I was just, when I was sitting in bed this morning, I was... <clears throat> going back in our vlogs from five years ago. I think it's been five years since I've had this pain. And um, in Scotland, that's where we were when I had this pleurisy pain. Um, I remember it was worse, like just at baseline, like right now, like it's there. But if I sit up straight or if I cough, after I coughed, it was just like so hard to breathe um, between the pain and just, it was like constricting my breathing. But anyway, watching those videos, I was like, yep, this is exactly what that felt like. So it's kind of helpful to have those videos. Um, so anyway, we're gonna go and lungs need a cough but my brain won't let it um we're gonna go get an x-ray and that when they did the x-ray it was the day after so like I didn't go in that day that it was happening but the next day <coughs> in Scotland the x-ray was fine so I presume this x-ray this will be fine as well <coughs> and then we'll just go home <coughs> Okay, we definitely made the right choice of coming in to get this checked out when we came, well, going to the car was a lot of pain, but then coming in here, Mary was in a lot of pain. They thankfully got her back to a room quickly and a team came in and they're putting in orders to get the x-ray blood work. They just did blood work and just check everything out. But when, when Mary like breathes really shallow and kind of stays where she's at, so it's under control. Um, but it's the breathing, coughing, and moving, had to living. Go to the bathroom. Oh, it was not pretty. But it's just like it's like the pain makes my lungs stop working or something. Mm. Like I can't breathe in. Yeah, which somebody without lung disease like pain does that you kind of take yes. your breath away but yes. like when the pain's in your lungs <laughs> i can't imagine this i would take this pleurisy pain over a headache like you know my post-op headache because yeah. i'm still me just sitting here yeah i sure. can keep my eyes open yeah i can't breathe but, but we're gonna go get a chest x right here Anyway, but see what happened. Okay, Mary is back from her chest x-ray. It was a painful process. How's breathing in? Uh, I told the person, I was like, I have a lot of pain if I breathe in deep. She said, I know that, or I know you can't breathe in deep. That's totally fine. Just hold your breath. Mm. Um, cool. I, I mean, I breathed in as far as I could. Yeah. But, um, 
So I guess we'll just wait and see. Uh, When she got back here, she was in so much pain. Okay, whites are up. Oh, interesting. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, a lot? Lunch time, lunch time. Poor Peter. After he preached this morning, he had to rush home so we could go to the ER. So he probably hasn't eaten anything. Maybe they texted one of my buddies at church. He came up to me right after I finished preaching. He was like, you gotta go. <laughs> oh. So right now. Okay, good news is that Mary's doctor just called and uh, so they looked at the x-ray and there's nothing like crucially concerning. Um, so no like collapse or anything. So it's her blood work did show inflammation is up, which makes sense. That could mean pleurisy pain, that pain on the lining of the lung. Or it could be just like increased mucus. They call it mucus plugging where it kind of like blocks an airway in the lungs um, causing the pain. So all that being said, we're safe to go home and push through it. And but because this happened, it's like the bacteria are kind of rearing up. And so he said, we're going to increase the dose of her vancomycin because she was on the lower side. And we're going to switch the her from Estrianam to something else. I think maybe Mirapenum, but he's going to review everything and make a final decision. So that's the plan. We'll make those changes tomorrow because today's Sunday. And he's like, you could come in to the hospital or we could make changes tomorrow and he was also saying like because of the pain do you want to be in the hospital yeah um but there we talked about a pain plan and i like peter and i feel safe to go home so yeah so um we'll get all this figured out and hopefully get out of here the pain meds are definitely helping um I talked with my doctor and we have a plan for going home. Uh, they needed to make sure that, I forget what he said, if it was a this, I would need to not do airway clearance. If it was a that, I would need to do extra airway clearance. It was a that. I'm super helpful in that way. So I, yeah, he said focus on airway clearance in the upper lobes. So I guess we'll do some chest PT and basically because the pain hurts a lot worse when I'm breathing in deeply or coughing, um, we just gotta make sure we keep the pain under control so that I can appropriately clear my airways. And I, he, you know, he was basically saying like, do you need to be in the hospital? And I was like, I feel like I can do this at home. Um, and uh, he totally agreed that like he was like it's medically you're you're safe um as long as you're okay with dealing with the pain at home and i was like yeah i, I am so um look i'm sitting up the pain meds are starting to help a lot plus i just coughed and i'm not dying so did you hear that where it just went like ah. it's so strange it's like it takes my air away mid word um but anyway, um, this is just what pleurisy pain is. It is <laughs> so stupid. It's so frustratingly unhelpful. It's like the lining of your lung is inflamed and rubbing. There's virtually nothing to do about it. My <clears throat> white blood cells and my marker of inflammation are up which just indicates there's something going on. We're like, yeah, body, we're aware. But because of that, you know, it's all confirmation that <clears throat> uh, yeah, we just need to keep the pain under control enough to air to do airway clearance. And uh, I, like I said, it's already helping and we will go home, do airway clearance, 
and continue on IVs, switch IVs tomorrow when the home care company can get them out to us, <coughs> and uh, keep on keeping on. This is a different day than I expected. I thought maybe uh, I'd eventually walk outside, water my flowers, and instead we rush to the emergency room. But thankfully, nothing uh, detrimental, like my lungs are fine, normal. Now, <clears throat> this does kind of, it goes along with what my doctor talked about on Friday. We saw him just two days ago. And he said, your, your lungs sounded a little more crackly than normal, which my lungs typically sound really good. It's really odd, even though I'm kind of at my, even when my lungs aren't doing super well, they sound pretty good. And Peter and I were talking about it the other day, and Peter was like, I think it's probably because you put so much work into airway clearance, but. Um, so anyway, he, yeah, my doctor said that he heard some extra crackles on Friday. And then I, did he say that this x-ray showed some more mucus? Yeah. So that's consistent with it. And then, all of it kind of put together uh, is just inflammation and irritation and infection and all of that. It all kind of makes sense, but it, it is kind of random timing. Typically when a patient is starting to go in the right direction, like you've been on IVs for two and a half weeks, you're like starting to do better. Uh, typically you wouldn't have like an inflammation situation like pleurisy but as we know my body likes to break the rules sometimes and I looked back at our videos like I said and I had been on IVs right before the pleurisy happened last time so my body really likes to break that rule but <clears throat> that's basically what the rest of our day is gonna be just keeping the pain under control and doing airway clearance so as always we'll see you tomorrow Good night. Good night, everybody.